Hello, thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. If you are looking for a natural immune booster, garlic and honey infused is the best thing that you can have. It's um, got thousands of years of research behind it. It's been used for medicinal purposes, garlic and honey, both together and separate for thousands and thousands of years. So having them together is a, a great thing. Together they make a powerhouse uh, boost to your immune system. So let's make some honey infused garlic. Um, this is easy to make. Now we're talking about medicinal purposes. So the product you use does matter. Um, you're gonna want a, a raw honey um, we're lucky that um, we have somebody close by that uh, will take it directly from the, the beehive right into a jar, and so we're getting very good quality raw honey. Um, be careful when you buy in a store because a lot of your honey is not pure honey in the stores, but if you'll look for organic, you look for raw, uh, you should be able to find a really good honey. Um, garlic. Um, try to find garlic that is from the United States. If it comes in from another country, it's been radiated. And the medicinal properties just really aren't there anymore. Again, I'm very lucky because we go out and we forage um, our own Texas wild garlic. And um, now this year I have started planting it in my garden and in my yard and next year we have an area set up where we should be able to do a pretty good amount of garlic and hopefully next year I won't have to go forage but I've been foraging in this one spot for almost 15 years. I have, my mother has, my brother has, uh, my sister-in-law so it is a really huge field and we're very blessed to have that near us and so um, I've got very good garlic. Here. You don't want to come up over here because it's going to start kind of bubbling and fermenting and um, so you want to give it room to breathe. You don't want your jar to explode. But you take your garlic and you're going to mash it. Now you're not wanting to pound it and you know macerate it. Just mash it. Then cut it in half and then put it in your jar. Nothing more simple than that. And I, I don't have quite half a jar. And then you're going to take your honey and you're going to pour it over your garlic. And this you may do in stages because you're going to want to um, get that garlic really covered. And you're going to want to put a lid over it and you're going to want to clean any honey that got on the top of your jar. And you put your lid on, you cover it. Now right now you're gonna put it on tight because you're gonna turn it upside down, let it drain down, covering the garlic really well, and then you'll see if you need to add some more um, honey or not. Now garlic is best consumed raw, uh, not as a powdered supplement like you'll go get it in the health food store and that's very popular today. It's best consumed raw. But even if you love garlic like I do, it's very hard to consume enough garlic. But when you mix it with honey, the honey will mellow the garlic a bit, which will make it a lot more tolerable. It can be used to boost your energy. Instead of one of those energy drinks, a tablespoon of honey, it does not have the side effects that those energy drinks have. Um, it is anti-cancer. Um, it has claims of helping with allergies. It reduces inflammation. Um, it gives a boost to your immune system. There are a lot of things that honey does for your body. Honey also helps you fight infection. Um, if you have a cut and you put honey on that cut, wrap it up, it's going to keep it from getting infected and it will also help it to feel quicker. Now, why the garlic? Well, garlic is an anti-inflammatory, and we know uh, from the studies that have been done recently that almost every disease starts because of inflammation. It is antibacterial and antiviral, 
And garlic, garlic contains high minerals, high in vitamins. So again, it too is a power pack of uh, multivitamin for you. So the two of them together, they're a powerhouse. And um, this is what you need standing by in your fridge if you uh, get a cold or get sick this winter time. So I hope that you'll have one ready and in the weights. It would be good to make two. One that you can have waiting in case you do need extra, and then one that you're using um, on a daily basis because keeping your immune system up, strong, functioning, is much better than waiting until you're sick and you really need uh, something to help you. But it's nice to have it there for just in case. What you could do is make two, two jars of this, which is what I will do. One that I'll be using, now you need to let it set for a week or so. Um, now there are people who say that it's best to let it ferment for three months. Um, I'm going to leave a link below in the description for Off Grid with Doug and Stacy because Stacy actually did this this past week also, and hers is a little bit different than mine. So um, it'll give you the two to, to go through. Now, how do you use this? Um, well, for preventative, which is what I would do, I would, um, I would make me toast in the morning. Um, take one of the cloves and smear it over my toast with a little bit of the honey, starting out the day with that. Um, it gets those gastric juices going and um, helps you metabolize your food better throughout the day. That's how I would start. Then if by some chance you do get sick or you feel that your immune system is compromised, then you would want to take about five of the garlic cloves a day. Once you feel like you've boosted your immune system, you can cut back on your garlic. And the honey you can use, um, just a tablespoon of the honey or a teaspoon, whichever you prefer, for a sore throat, for a cough suppressant. You can put it in your teas. Um, there's a, a bunch of uses for the honey and the garlic you can find your own. Thank you for joining me again today. If you have not subscribed already, please do. That way you can get notified when we have new videos. Um, thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.